A new coronavirus outbreak of the Omicron variant in China has forced officials in Shanghai to shut down all schools starting tomorrow. Chinese government officials say the country is experiencing its largest daily outbreak since the Wuhan outbreak two years ago. Now, here in the U.S., a lot has changed since March 11, 2020, exactly two years ago. That's when the World Health Organization declared coronavirus a global pandemic an outbreak with the potential to touch everyone, not just in America, but around the globe. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. We don't have sight on this right now. We don't have clear vision on exactly how widespread this is in the country. Breaking news tonight, the NDA announcing they are suspending their season until further notice upon the completion of tonight's games. Uh, the decision was made after a player for the Utah Jazz preliminarily tested positive for coronavirus. Tom Hanks, the actor, announcing tonight that he and his wife, Rita Wilson, also an actor, a actress, have been diagnosed with coronavirus. I mean, time has lost all meaning. Mm -hmm. I, I, wouldn't, I don't know if that was 10 years ago or two months ago, you know, mm -hmm. but since then, almost a million Americans have died from COVID-19. Today, the CDC says only 2% of the U.S. population lives in communities with high infection levels. Nearly 73% live in a county with low COVID levels. About 65% of the U.S. population is vaccinated with at least one shot. 29% have received a booster. Mm, two years. Mm. Our new NATO surveillance planes are capturing